Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate basic design strips for an elevated two-way concrete slab in RAM concept. In this particular video, we will show you how to generate the design strips from the design spans plan. As you can see in both the latitude and longitude direction, we have already modeled our span segments. We're now at the point in our workflow where we're ready to start generating our strips. Now to do that, we will go up to our standard toolbar and click on the Generate Strips icon. This will use all of the span segments on both the latitude and longitude direction and all of the properties that were assigned for each of them. Here I can see that the Design Spans plan has been created in both the latitude and longitude direction. Now after you generate your design strips, you are able to perform any type of modifications that you need. This may mean you might want to revisit any of your span segment properties. You may want to enter some trimming information or boundary information or also specify the orientation. You're also going to notice that each span segment consists of about two or three different areas for your design strips. We have our column strips located directly over the column spans, and we also have our middle strip information. Now after you generate your design strips, I also recommend regenerating your finite element mesh. So at this point, return to your standard toolbar and click on your generate mesh icon. You can enter your element size and then click on the Generate button. Once your new finite element mesh is created, you can return to the element standard plan to review the mesh. Now what you're going to notice is that your mesh is more regular in shape once your design strips are available to the program. In addition to that, if I were to perform a calculation at this point, I would see that results are now available since the code rules have been associated with different areas within the slab. To see that information, I can go to the design status plan and I can see a design status for each of the strips, middle strips and column strips in each direction. In addition to that, if I wanted to review the reinforcement so far, I can also go to the reinforcement standard plan. Now after you review your design status and reinforcement information, you may find that you also want to review your design spans and design strips based on these results. And again, you can make any modifications that you need to and also regenerate your design strips and re-perform your design. In addition to that, if you would like to see any perspectives of your cross sections, you can review the cross sections plans. We have this available for both the latitude and longitude direction. And again, with this information, you may decide that you want to make some changes or tweak your results as needed. Now these perspective plans will only be available after a design is performed. At this point, this completes our process for generating design strips for a basic elevated two-way concrete slab in RAM concept. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.